Yeah. You gonna do it with me? Yeah. Say, hey loves. Yeah. It's lavishly Brit. Yeah. And Noel Chanel. Yeah. <laughs> Noel Chanel. Say hi. 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 Get your hands out your mouth if you want to talk. What you gonna say? That's all. Definitely be sure to check Noelle out on Instagram if you like. I'll put her information in the description box as well as somewhere on the screen. But this video is pretty much going to be all about Noelle's hair and how I was able to grow her hair. But I'm going to pretty much separate this video into two parts. Part one is going to be pretty much about her hair and her growth up until this point. And part two is going to be her natural hair care routine. So with that being said, pretty much... When Noelle was born, she came out with hair. I mean, it wasn't like abundance of hair. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, she has so much hair, but she had hair on her head. But her hair has always been very thin from day one, pretty much. Her hair started to fall out around three months, I believe, and it was just falling out by the time she was a year. She's pretty much bald. And then, no, mommy's got to talk. You be quiet. I wasn't really all that concerned until she pretty much hit a year old, and then I was like, where's my baby's hair? Thank you. So, pretty much her hair was still not growing all that well up until like a year and a half. And then I remember like shortly after a year and a half, her hair started to grow back in. And I was so excited. But she had this problem area in the back of her head. I was so sad. I was like, what am I doing wrong? Like, how am I over here with a head full of hair? And I can't even grow my daughter hair an inch. Like, what's, what's really good? Do I know what I'm doing or do I not? My daughter's hair was a challenge for me. It was different than my hair. Her hair lost moisture so quick. Her hair doesn't hold moisture as well as mine does. And her <laughs> hair is definitely changing a lot. I can tell you that just between these past six months, I've seen such a difference. I've just started to take way more time and way more patience with her hair. Granted, it may not be anything on my behalf and I had to understand that and just take my time, listen to her hair and what I felt like it needed. So I've been trying out different things. This is what's working so far. We started deep conditioning versus like just putting a conditioner in her hair and rinsing it right out. And I've noticed such a big difference with that. It's helped her hair trough tremendously. And I'm just ready to see our hair flourish. You know, I know hair is not everything. It's just one part of her. She's a bright, bubbly little girl and I love her to death. It's a bonding moment for us. I am considering doing rice water on her hair, but I think I'm gonna try it on myself first because I just don't feel right trying it on my child and not trying it on myself first. So I pretty much focused on making sure her hair was moisturized, making sure I had it properly protected. That is another thing. She has finally gotten to the point that she will wear a bonnet. She actually wants to wear her bonnet. She looks for her bonnet before she goes to sleep and takes a nap, sleep and takes a nap, sleep and takes a nap. Uh, yeah, bonnet. Bonnet. Yeah, you're right. Smart girl. Give me half a Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> and not letting her styles getting too old and freezy. So that makes me go back to my previous point. The thing that I want to talk about that I'm still struggling with that I'm hoping the rice water can help with is shedding. Her hair sheds so much for the little amount of hair that she does have. In my opinion, you'll see how much her hair has shedded in this video, which is a fraction of what I used to get. And that says a lot. Her hair is the opposite of mine. I made a post on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should. At Lavishly Brit. I post on my stories daily. It's one particular wash day. I was just showing you all her hair care routine. And I believe I showed you all her amount of shedding. It was a lot at that point. But that at that time, I had washed her hair for a little bit over two weeks. So I know that our hair does naturally shed hair and lose strands. Just a natural process. One thing I did do that I've been doing for about 
three months at this point is giving her vitamins every night and I would say that probably helped. And number four, which is something you won't see in this video because I don't have any more and I need to get some more for when I went to my target they, they were out of it, which is the Mayo Organics Rosemary Mint Oil. It's like a biotin infused oil. I can't really say for so much, but I feel like it helped because I particularly would place those drops in her problem area and I started to see them, you know, slowly. Now this is nothing you're gonna see that's gonna make your hair grow in a day, in a week. This took weeks. Like I told you, this regimen has been going on for about three months now and I feel like it's working because her hair is growing really at a really good pace now and I'm, I'm satisfied with it. But if you have any more questions, anything specific that you really wanna know, definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know and I'll try to answer that for you as soon as possible. But without further ado, let's just pretty much jump right into this video but before we do that make sure you take a moment to go ahead and click that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you never miss any upload because y'all y'all gonna be getting a, a hair care routine for me very soon i'm due for a really good wash i've just been busy getting my life together without further ado let's just get right into this so say bye noelle Don't mind how crusty I look. Just pay attention to how cute my hair is. So I'm about to get ready to do her hair. I'm trying to do better with keeping up with her hair. She just got up. So I'm about to make her some breakfast and let her eat while I start on her hair. Right? So to start this off, I need to first remove her previous hairstyle and to detangle her hair. So to start it off, I'm just going to take these scissors and cut out the rubber bands and remove any twists and or braids and then saturate her hair with some water. What are you doing? Not too much, I don't need it to be soaking wet, just a little moist. And then I'm going to take this Diva Curl Wash Day Wonders, which is pretty much like a, a pre-poo detangler type of concoction and it helps to detangle the hair, to help the hair from drying out in the shampoo process. So once I do that, I'm going to then take the Tangle Teaser and gently detangle her hair. Now this has been a game changer when it comes to her hair care routine because Y'all, I could not get her to sit through this. It used to be tears because she would have knots and she would be crying because I'm trying to detangle them. But this has been a game changer. It seems to detangle her hair so smoothly. She's not crying. She's not upset or any of that. It's leading me home. It's leading me home. It's coming down. So now that I am done applying the Diva Curl Wash Day Wonders and thoroughly detangling her hair, I'm going to take the Silk Elements Soothing Oil Blend for dry hair and apply it to her scalp lightly. I don't like to put too much oil on her scalp, especially since I know I'm about to just shampoo it out. This is just to go ahead and add a little moisture, moisturization, is that even a word, to her hair. <laughs> And then I'm going to lightly just massage it in and then apply a shower cap on the top. So I'm gonna let this sit for about five to 15 minutes. Five minutes later. So we're gonna rinse this 
out and then move on to step two. So step two, I'm going to be using the Diva Curl No Poo Decadence Cleanser. I love using this on Noelle's hair. It's very gentle on her hair. It's not stripping. And I'm just going to gently apply this, run my fingers through her hair, make sure I'm removing any debris and product buildup from her scalp and her hair. And then I'm going to rinse this out. So the next step in the routine is to apply a conditioner. I have numerous different conditioners that I like to use, but today I'm using the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture, and I'm just going to apply this all throughout her hair and detangle. Midnight, wasted, friends all around, faded, like we've got nothing to lose. Doing this for a little jam session because hashtag mom life, you gotta play the children music while you're doing something that they really don't wanna do. <laughs> So once I've applied this throughout her hair, I'm going to then put another shower cap on her head and let it sit for about 15 to 30 minutes. Again, this is a nice little break for us. She can get a, get a snack, she can sit down, she can play with her toys for a little bit. And then once we're done, we're going to come back and we're going to rinse this out. So I do want to note, here's what her shedded hair looks like. It may not seem like much to you, and it's not that much, but for the amount of hair that she has, I do feel like it's just a tad bit more than I would like to see. But nonetheless, that's pretty much all of the detangling I really do, because at this point her hair is thoroughly detangled, and I try my best to keep it from tangling back up. So now it's time to move on to step Three, which is to style her hair. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply the Mayel Organics Avocado Moisturizing Hair Milk. This has been a game changer for her hair. Her hair loves this stuff. It seems to stay very much moisturized using this. Now there are two things that I usually would add that I did not have in my possession at this time because I had ran out and that is the Mayel Organics Almond and Mint Oil as well as the Mayel Organics Rosemary and Mint Oil. Usually, I've been putting the rosemary and mint oil on her scalp, especially in her problem areas in the almond and mint oil, just to kind of make sure her hair is not going to be drying out extra fast. So once I've applied this all throughout her hair, I'm pretty much just going to start parting her hair and applying the gel because I like to use gel on her hair because it holds the style the longest because she is a toddler, she's not concerned about her hair, and the gel I like to use on her is the Shine and Jam gel. This is a throwback, this is what our mamas use on us, and it works for them, and it's gonna work for me. <laughs> so, I've been doing this, and this has definitely been helping me to stretch her styles out to two weeks if needed, because without this, by the time a week hits, her style is over, it's ruined, it's frizzy, it is a mess. So that is all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. This is the final results. Her hair came out phenomenal. I was really excited about the results and for the simple fact that this was the first time I was able to braid the back of her head because like I said, that is her problem area. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Can't wait to see you again in my next one. And as always, remember you're popping. You're beautiful. Bye. It's cold for summer night. I text you, I'm sorry. I don't mean to bother, but figured I gotta try. And you say you're busy, but I don't believe you. It's keeping me up at night. The way my emotions keep turning around, can keep it inside. No. Uh. Here we go. We go. I love you.